So we finally know what the NX is, and the leaks going around a few months ago seem to have been right. It's a console that can be taken with you on the go with a customizable modular controller. Personally, I'm all for this, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And of course, we got some new Breath of the Wild footage in the preview trailer, so I'll break down what we saw. So first off we see a man playing Breath of the Wild on his Nintendo Switch, beginning by mounting a horse, then riding through a large grassy plain and taking on a group of bokoblins who are also mounted on horses. And then we get to see the portable feature of the Switch in action, as he takes the controller, takes it apart, and builds a portable tablet controller, allowing him to play Breath of the Wild on the go. And now, finally, we get to see some new Breath of the Wild stuff. This scene here is particularly interesting. Link begins by sailing in on his paraglider down into a small clearing with a broken wooden house and notably a giant ribcage. This ribcage is very similar to that we saw in the E3 2016 trailer for the game Somewhere in the Desert, so perhaps these skeletons of giant monsters are a recurring feature in the new Hyrule. Link glides over to a giant red monster sleeping in the center of the clearing and proceeds to shoot it with a bomb arrow, but this only serves to agitate it as it gets up to face him. This is when we get the best look at the new creature, so I'll give my thoughts on what it is. Well, its pig-like features, such as its snout, tusks and ears, give it away as at least related to the Bokoblins in some way. And in fact, if we compare it to this game's Bokoblins, it's actually very similar, just way, way bigger. In addition, if you compare the beast to Skyward Sword's iteration of the Moblin, which is their latest appearance in a 3D Zelda, then there are strong similarities. However, there's one defining feature that differentiates this creature from the traditional Moblin, which is that it's a Cyclops. If you look closely, you can see that instead of two eyes, the creature has one giant green eye in the center of its forehead. This sets it apart as a monster we've never seen before in Zelda, some big brother of the Moblins. At E3 2016, we saw this handsome fella, who I think's this game's depiction of a Moblin. The size is a lot more suitable, as well as the fact that it lacks the weird single giant eye that this new creature boasts. Judging by how much taller than Link the monster is, it's safe to bet that this thing is at least 20 to 25 feet tall, and almost as wide. It has, like the Bokoblins, rough hide clothing, as well as some very simple jewellery. He has long white hair, perhaps suggesting that this monster has been living for quite some time. But now we get to the most interesting detail about the monster its necklace. What it wears around its neck appears to be at first some sort of simple jewel, but if you look closer, it's clear that it's a piece of Sheikah technology similar to the Guardians and the Sheikah Slate, crudely strung around its neck. Originally, I thought that this item could be some sort of device designed to keep the monster under the Calamity Ganon's control, since it's apparent that Ganon has used the Sheikah technology against Link in the form of the Guardians. However, the Guardians have a notable difference to other Sheikah tech they glow pink, rather than the orange or blue of the Sheikah Slate and Shrines. I've suggested in a previous theory that this is because the technology is originally orange when deactivated, blue when activated, and pink when under the control of the Calamity Ganon. See the theory here for more information on this. But this item around the monster's neck isn't glowing pink. In fact, it's glowing orange, suggesting whatever it is, it isn't actually activated at all. This means that the item isn't under Ganon's control, and perhaps has been stolen by the monster, which is why Link is hunting it, to reclaim an important item or Sheikah artifact that will some way play a role in the story. Aside from this, there really isn't anything notable to do with Breath of the Wild in the Nintendo Switch reveal trailer. Overall, I'm really, really happy with the look of this new console, especially the amount of third party support that it appears to have. What do you guys think of the console and the new snippet of Breath of the Wild footage? Leave it in the comments below. Cheers guys and I'll see you next time.